Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today, and today we're going to be talking about a potential signing for the Sacramento Kings. As today, Dwight Howard, eight time All Star and 37 year old, and we're talking about Dwight Howard, who absolutely balled out this year in, Ty in, in the Taiwan League uh, as he left the LA Lakers uh, last season, the, the season before, after the 21 22 NBA season, after a not so good year with the Lakers and after returning to the Lakers and left to to go to Taiwan for a year and I don't know it's for me it's hard to tell if he's gonna end up potentially staying in Taiwan or come back to the NBA because I mean we've talked about how much he's talked about how much he loves it in Taiwan and he's we've seen him in very funny videos trying to recruit players which it's that that is all a joke but to me, it seems like he really loves playing in Taiwan. Loves, you know, loves the area. Loves, you know, the people there. But, um, you know, as good as he's doing right now, I think the goal for him probably is to get back to the NBA today. Uh, Dwight did say, or I don't know if this was today or the or yesterday, but he did say, I would love to help the Sacramento Kings contend for a title, even though I believe their team is pretty much set. And he, you know, he's right. You know, their team is pretty much set. They do have. Darian Fox and DeMontis Sabonis, the two leaders of the two All-Stars, and they have really good pieces around them, like Keegan Murray, Kevin Herter, good shooters around them, uh, Malik Monk as well. Um, but at the same time, they don't really have a good backup center, if you really think about it. They don't. Um, I mean, I guess Metu was playing backup center for them. They have Rashawn Holmes and signed him to a huge contract a, a couple years ago. But he, he barely played it all last year. And um, and also, Rashawn Holmes is reportedly going to maybe potentially be traded this offseason. So it doesn't look like he's coming back to the Kings. They're going to be looking for a backup center. And and Dwight wants to help this Sacramento team contend with the season. As as much as Dwight wasn't didn't look as look that great in his in uh, his final couple years in the NBA um in 20 in 20 the 2021 season and the 21 22 season i think this one year in taiwan maybe helped boost off his boost up his confidence his three point shot has gotten way better this year in taiwan in this season Ty, the taiwan season he shot 23% from 3 which is that, that that doesn't sound like a huge deal but he, i mean he made 16 of them went 16 for 70 from 3 i mean he was, he would, I don't know, it's just a different Dwight. He's 37 years old. I know it might be a little bit easier to play in Taiwan than it might be in the NBA, but he, he just looked like a different player. He's, you know, his shot looked way better. He, the way, he, you know, he, you know, his shots were going in for him. I, I just, I don't know. It seemed different for him. Um, played 34.9 minutes per game with Taiwan this year. Um, an average 23.2 points per game with 16.2 rebounds per game and also averaged five assists per game and averaged 1.2 blocks per game you'd think it'd be way more with Dwight Howard but no um but also turned the ball over 3.9 times per game and also had multiple I mean he, had, he scored 38 one game 36 I mean he had multiple just um killer performances but he was shooting the ball good he was shooting i mean shot his free throw i think his free throw he shot 132 free throw percentage was um 70 percent shot 132 for 191 uh which is you know you know i i, I don't know if his if his free throws his, his percentage you know could have been at you know at that i mean honestly i don't i really don't with I could be wrong, but I don't think he uh, has ever got that high in free throw percentage at the NBA. Um, in my, my honest in my honest opinion, but um, I honestly think he'd be a great signing for the Sacramento Kings if they are indeed looking for a backup center. Dwight Howard wants to help them in contend. Why not? Why not Sacramento? Why not add him in as a backup center? And if you don't feel confident about you know giving Dwight a chance, maybe you add in another center if it doesn't work out for him. There's another center there behind Dwight for if he is not that great and it's just the he's just really good in Taiwan and those and the and the, and the other player and the competition is way less easier for him and he's not that good of a he's he's not as good as a player as he is in the NBA in Taiwan. 
you have another center if Dwight is bad. But I honestly think Dwight wasn't that really Dwight wasn't really that bad. Um before he left the NBA, he was averaging around seven to six. Not as good as he's doing in Taiwan, but um it, you know, I honestly think Sacramento, it would be a great signing for them. Get get a backup insurance plan just in case Dwight doesn't do that good. But I think this conf even at thirty seven years old, I think a good year in Taiwan might boost up his confidence to have a really good season. He's not going to be getting a lot of minutes anyways. They got Demontis Sabonis. He's going to get he's going to be getting around fifteen to twenty minutes a night. So uh, I think it'd be a really good season. I think it'd be a really good signing for the Sacramento Kings. You guys are my thoughts, and that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.